Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock 2. I didn't do really that much in between episodes, but let's go check it out. I realized that I didn't really explain much about how this mob farm works and how we control it and I did move the controls a little bit so we have lights, an on and off switch here and then the fans on and off over here. We can on and off that middle guy over there, the mob crusher, but I don't think it's really necessary because if we have the fans off, only if we touch that we might get hurt and or killed. So I'm trying to not do that and uh, we should be good. Let's turn on some night vision so you can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, so over here, I changed this for an advanced item collector and the radius is five by five in each direction or five blocks in each direction and a radius of 10 going up. So that picks up the pretty much everything. We can probably increase this to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that would be uh, the entire T of the mop farm and nothing outside of it, which is really cool. I'm just using an absorption hopper filled up with cobblestone to pick up the uh, XP and that is ender tanked over to my uh, experience obelisk over there. For the mob fans, I am using some upgrades, uh, which as I said in the previous episode required feathers and I had around 100 or so feathers from my uh, from the other mob farm and we have 54 now. So that is a neat way of us getting feathers. Um, so those uh, are on three width, three height, and one distance on these two on the side. So if I show you the ray, show the the area here, it's gonna push to this part of the mob farm, which is fine. And then over here on these two, we have and they push over to here as well. So everything just gets to touch the uh, mob crusher in the middle, and everything dies. So we have to turn on the fans and then turn off the lights, and that gets us mob spawns, and it looks really cool. Wonderful. So over here, I did uh, move around a bunch of the drawers. We still have uh, the slime over here because I want to set up probably a different area for slime. I don't even know if we need to uh, use bonsai pots or anything for the slime. We can just uh, probably not even worry about slime anymore. We can just probably toss these drawers somewhere on here if we have any space, uh, which we're kind of low on. If we get more trophies and stuff, we're gonna fill it up a little bit. And over here we have the slimy uh, leaves and the saplings and uh, the slime over here. So we don't really have space for that many compacting drawers over here. That would be one, two, and then I could fit that in over there to be three. And then I would have to fit all the leaves in a, in a single drawer uh, for that to function properly. Uh, the glass, the silicon, we don't... Do we need to make silicon? I think we do because it's used for making electrical steel, yeah. Uh, stone bricks I can actually just uh, extract out of here. And also the conduit binder, I don't think we need that in a drawer for the moment. We have plenty of storage in our ME system for all of these. Uh, so the diamond teen and all that, we are gonna set up an empowerer probably at some point for uh, creating all of these. For the moment, I think we're fine. Uh, but yeah, everything is moved in. Uh, over here we have controller slaves in all the four corners. Here we're using a translocator, that's the mob farm, just so it cleans out really quickly. I'm pretty sure a conduit would keep up, but uh, last time I tried it, it wasn't, and I don't think that's gonna cause too many issues. Uh, I'm gonna try and remember uh, to turn off the farm when I'm not online. One thing that we can actually do is there is an online detector that I made at some point. So if we put this here, the lights are on as soon as this gets a redstone signal. So what if we... We would need to invert this, right? So do you work if we say Fiki Breaker? If I can spell my own name properly. There we go. Can I put a torch on you? Uh, and do you automatically turn off the torch? You do. So when I'm offline, the lamps should turn on because that should give it a redstone signal. So if we put you uh, right here, and then we put a redstone torch that probably went into there. I don't know how it picked it up from that far away. Well, it's okay. So we're gonna go Fiki Breaker. Uh, and now I'm online, so that is off, so the lamps are off, and we don't really need this anymore. Uh, over here at least. So we can just toss that into the system. 
Uh, and as soon as I log off, the mob farm should turn off and not cause any issues, and it will only run and stress the server when I'm online, which is really nice. Uh, and I can probably set up a bunch of these as well for uh, kind of like being online, but I essentially would want the chunks to be not loaded when I'm offline, but that caused issues with things being dropped in the world and all that and server struggling and all that. So I don't know if uh, it's best if we do that. Uh, so for today, I didn't really think of a plan. So I am going to go and think of something to do. But uh, we can do some more mechanism. We can probably at some point, uh, we can upgrade to, can we? Void miner. Uh, the, we're tier five. Yeah, that's Ionite. Yeah, we can easily upgrade to the next tier just to get Atheum because these are super fast with the, with the upgrades that we're getting. You know, one thing that we really need is to set up alloys so we can get more capacitor banks so we can actually have a, uh, an output higher than 25,000 off of this. Uh, so that, uh, is probably a thing that, uh, we should do. So I'll make some alloy smelters. We have some machine frames we have three um we're probably gonna need a little bit more so the industrial machine casing requires industrial dye blend which is lapis lazuli powder and organic green dye so organic green dye is gonna be cactus green and let's get two stacks and then i think it's slime and some coal we have some of it here uh then we need the lapis powder which is just crushed lapis. So we can do this and get this ground up. And here we have some quite color glass, but that plus that plus that should get us. Uh, it uses four coal, one slime and two cactus green. And how much will I get out of this? Uh, so we need definitely more coal. So let's get... Actually, not, we don't need to grind coal. We can just grind coal ore directly uh, and get pulverized coal out of that. Uh, I think. Actually, if we want specifically pulverized coal, let's just uh, grind up eight stacks of coal. So, for example, one thing that we need to set up is pulverized coal. I think we're going to get enough from coal ore processing, uh, so that should be fine. Oh, it made... Okay, made a stack of this. Uh, I think that should be enough for what we need. Uh, we have some crushed lapis here. We have some crushed draconium. Oh, we have pulverized coal over here. Okay, that's fine. So let's toss another stack, another stack, another that. Uh, and that's going to make, I think, another stack. We're going to toss some more in there and the slime and just make more organic black dye for whatever reason. All right, so machine casing or these guys, dye blends. So let's toss that in there. That's 24. What will we low on? Oh, organic black dye. Uh, we do need that. I totally forgot. Uh, okay, so that's going to be fine. Let's just toss uh, all of this pulverized coal in here and make me more of the dye. We can even help you out a little bit by doing this. There we go. That's a few. Uh, hello, give me the coal. Thank you so much, machine. You are very kind. So that is going to be plenty, I think. Uh, let's just make a couple of these. We make one uh, iron bar. We are going to make 300 of these. Thank you very much. And toss one in here. It's going to make a stack. And that plus that should get us a stack of casings. Wonderful. We can toss all of the draconium away, all of that away, all of that away, all of that away, that away, that away. And that should be good. Uh, we don't even need this anymore, I don't think. Uh, wonderful. So this still got us the crushed lapis. It's getting some more pulverized coal. That is fine. So the industrial machine casings are coming in and I'm going to make a bunch of alloy smelters and figure out a spot where I want to set those up. So this is the idea that I had for this. We have alloy smelters over here. We're going to need octatic capacitors and all of them uh, eventually, but uh, we are going to have compacting drawers for all of the different alloys. I kind of got them laid out over here. I think that's pretty much everything. Some of them require more multiple steps, so we are going to set those up in a different spot. And up to the top, we're going to have, for example, for Invar, we're going to have nickel uh, and iron. 
in a drawer that is a two by two. So we're gonna export iron and nickel. Uh, and hopefully we can do this. I'm gonna put you here. I'm gonna put frame trim and I want this to look like iron sheet metal. How will you fare? Perfect. Okay, sweet. So I can just toss that in there and get a bunch of frame trim. Do I have more more iron plates? I do. So let's just get a couple more of those. Bam, bam. And let's just toss that there. Frame trim. Cool. So if I just, uh, let me just vein mine all of this out because it's going to be trim anyway. So let's just get a little bit of it removed. And if we have framed trim going up on top here and down on the bottom, we can have everything on two drawer controllers in the middle, probably. Uh, and since we need kind of the backsides of this open, because we are going to have conduits running for power uh, in the middle here, like so all the way around. Uh, and then we are going to have item conduits extracting from the drawer to the alloy smelter and then to here. So we're going to say uh, that top drawer is going to have a storage downgrade. So we are going to need a bunch more of those storage downgrade. Can I just make a bunch? I probably should just set up a recipe for this so we can uh, come over here and do this. I don't think I have a recipe for flint set up, but that can be just gravel. Uh, so we can put uh, you where my drawer upgrades are and you over here. I don't know why I keep some stuff keeps moving around uh, in here, but uh, downgrade. Can you make me like a hundred, please? Thank you very much. So that shouldn't take, it has to now craft all the sticks because I kind of lost a thousand sticks uh, or a hundred thousand sticks because I vein mined or vein mined. I broke the drawer. And the server got, uh, the server crashed because of too many items on the floor. And then I had to kill all the items to get the server back. Uh, so that's, that's a thing that happened. Uh, so let me just uh, slowly remove this uh, while we wait for those to get made. And we can add some more trim, like so, like so, like so, and like so. Okay. Uh, do we have any storage downgrades? We do have the 100. Lovely. So if we put you there. And then grab our key over here and our key over here. And we can also do like that. Uh, then we can actually grab a capacitor. Can I even make some? I can make some. I probably should uh, automate if we can get three. Yeah, let's uh, first things first. I'm going to try and uh, automate the... Uh, the, 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 these guys, the vibrant alloy and energetic alloy first, because those are going to be needed for more octatic capacitors. So for this to automate, we're going to need some of these drawers. Actually, the vibrant alloy is just going to need a two by two or one by two drawer. And here we're going to do gold, redstone, glowstone. And then the other one is going to be energetic alloy and ender, ender pearls, which we are getting now. Uh, one thing that I want to actually check, ender pearl drawer, are you upgraded? You are not. Now you are. Wonderful. That's, I remember that, that I didn't upgrade. Uh, okay, so here, here, and here. Lock it, quantify it, that. And then in the back, we're going to give it some item conduits. And we're just going to copy the settings all over. It's going to be extract on green, insert, extract on red, insert on red. And that's pretty much it. And since we have the trim going around here, we can probably just put another, just either regular trim or even the uh, frame trim. It doesn't matter over here. And that should connect all of the drawers together. So we can have everything going on a single drawer controller. And I want to conduct a test. So let me add all of the frame trim and see if we can see everything on the same drawer controller. There we go. We definitely can. We can add a drawer controller up here as well. Uh, we're going to have to run some cabling up to here. Uh, so we're seeing iron and nickel. Uh, why do I not? Oh, the, you extract. Why are you? Oh, yeah, I set up the, <laughs> I set up the conduits. Okay. Uh, so capacitors, I think I have made some. Did I not say to make some? We're missing the vibrant alloy. How? 
Oh, I already put in the capacitors. That's fine. Uh, can I make some conduits? Because we're short on vibrant alloy. Oh, we have two left, so we can make alloy. Uh, no, we just need the this conduit. Perfect. Uh, and we can come in here, in here, here, here. And then we're just going to grab our flux point, which we have plenty, and we're going to stick it right here in the middle. We're going to say reactor power. Wonderful. And then we need to dig out the floor here. So let me just do a little bit like this. Oh, hello. Okay. Uh, we need to dive into a dense cable. So let's get one over here. Bam, 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 bam. Twisty turny over to here. I'm going to find the middle, uh, probably. Uh, and we can put a storage bus on this, and that's just going to do all of the drawers, and that's pretty much done deal. On the top here, we are going to need to export quite a bit of different uh, materials, so we can put like three different export buses on this drawer controller, or we can set up probably uh, on the side here, since we're only going to have conduits like this. You know what we can do? Instead of having this here and this here, we can just put, uh, I don't think it matters if there's multiple drawer controllers on the system, but we can do a drawer controller and then slaves. I still haven't set up a recipe for these. I probably should. Uh, let's get a couple. Uh, I don't know exactly how many we're going to need for the exports, but let's get another one uh, just to be safe. Like so. And then I'm going to set up a P2P tunnel, bring it to over here. We can have some export buses and a storage bus. We're probably going to put just here on the side. Uh, I don't know exactly how many different items are we, we are going to need, but there's nine per export bus. So I think that should be good. We have now the energetic alloy and the vibrant alloy automated. We are going to turn this to always active for the moment. I want to have these on active without signal and we can just have the same sort of system that we have everywhere around here with fan faces and inventory checkers. I know I could be using level limiters for all of this and just control import and export buses like I did before, but Having too many import and export buses, I think, is what caused the issues last time because having an export bus with acceleration cards inside of it, that triggers every so often and every couple ticks even and causes quite a bit of lag if you have them in abundance. But having just very little and having even level emitters or very, le very low amount of level emitters, meaning I have zero currently, I think. Uh, it's just going to be better, I think so. Uh, we need five total outputs uh, of the phantom face per side. So one thing that we can do, uh, firstly, we're going to need probably uh, this emptied out so we can just actually see through the bottom. So I might use my destruction tool a little bit. And now that I remember, because I've been wanting to do this for like three or four episodes, uh, there is a thing from Applied Energy Sticks that is going to be a better bag for us. And that is called, I think, a storage cell, if we can find it. Uh, is it? No, that's, no, it's going to be, uh, let's just do at applied. And it is somewhere, somewhere close. This guy, portable cell is what it is. So we can take, uh, can you only use the 1K? Okay, I think it's only 1K. And that's fine. We need just one view. And then we need an energy cell, not a problem. And an ME chest, which we can get a terminal. <clears throat> we don't have that on AutoCraft because we don't really need that many terminals. So we just need a couple of these. <sighs> Missing all the things. Make me 100 quartz glass, please. I'm just gonna make 63 of these illuminated panels. We need them all the time for making other terminals if we need to, and that should be just sufficient amount for everything that we need. So can I make you then, if I grab a, my cell, should have a portable cell. That should charge up with power, and we can uh, store stuff in here. Uh, we can sort out by number of items, A to Z, inventory tweaks, whatever. Uh, toggle sorting direction and have an auto search and I'm thinking I'm gonna go with auto search keep just so it's kind of the same 
I don't know if it's gonna sync up with this. If we do add applied, it does sync up with this. So we're just gonna have it, I think, on standard search mode, just so this doesn't link up. Oh, do you change all of the things? Ooh, hmm. I don't know if that's gonna cause issues for us because what I wanna have here is basically all of our stuff that we have in here. So for example, I re-add a wrench or packing tape or tape measure, moving wand, quantify key, network tool, the memory card we can toss in here uh, the way I have had them before. And then we can just take all of this from our bag uh, and just toss it in here. So have the reservoir, uh, I know I could have everything just in my ME storage system, but then I would have to, every time I would need something, we don't need this magnet anymore. Uh, every time I would need something, I would need to search for it specifically. I don't think we need the crafting, t I'm gonna keep it in here, as just in case. Cardboard boxes, copy paste gadget, time in a bottle can come with me. The guide, exchanging gadget, wand. I don't think we need the torch launcher, we're gonna need it in the end probably. Uh, so let us uh, just uh, empty this out a bit more. So let's just grab most of this stuff. I'm gonna toss just some stuff that I don't need right now away. Bup, 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 just so I can clean up. I know I'm gonna have to grab all of this again in a moment to build other things, but we can just toss everything away. And is, is are you full? Can it only store, how many items can it store? Seven, okay, so it's like just a chest worth. Can we get, can we make the portable cell with, a, I don't think we can use a bigger storage component. Can we make a 64K this? 64K this, uh, 64K ME storage component. I don't think we can do this. So we make a terminal and then we could an ME chest. We need some more cables. Not a problem. Have that on AutoCraft. So one of those and one of these. So if we do that, we can grab our uh, component. I don't think this will work. No. So we would need two of them. And this can only store <clears throat> this many items. So uh, do we have the Akasic Tome? We do. Nice. So what if I make one of these? That's just a bookshelf. So that's a couple more books for total. Let's make one of you and one of you. Don't know why that doesn't happen. All right. So we're going to grab our engineers thingy and a digital guide and we can just combine these like so. I think. Yep. Nice. And we can toss that in here. And then over through through the things that I really don't use that often, the red print, I'm probably gonna use that quite a bit. Uh, what if we sort by inventory tweaks? Wonderful. The engineer's wire cutters, not really a thing that we need. The engineer's hammer as well, we don't use that, that often. The diamond chest transporter might be useful. So that should be in here. And then the destruction gadget. Okay, I wanna sort it by mod. I think that'll be better, uh, even though the packing tape is here. Uh, maybe by number of items should be fine. So I think that's pretty much all the things that we need. We don't really need the flint and steel, nor do we need the reservoir. The hammer is kind of nice to keep on hand. And the Wand of the Forest, we probably have that wrench, Morpho tool as well. But that, uh, the morphing tool, that caused, I think, quite a bit of issues. Sometimes when it when it glitched out and stuff and caused, could cause crashes, I think. Uh, also our sword is probably a good thing. And then the rest of the stuff we have in our AE system, so it should be all good. I have most of the machines here set up and I know that I really don't need to use conduits now that I think of it because they have push and pull mechanics. So I could just set these to push and pull and uh, they do function properly. They do push out normally. The sag mills are kind of weird because they have multiple slots and then they don't try to push out stuff, which is really weird. Uh, we need a quantify here and we can set this to pull and push. 
and then here we can set this to pull and push and you might be i think i have or maybe it processed everything but we should have everything good uh, we still need to automate some things for a little a few of these alloys we are getting ender pearls i think at a decent rate from our mob farm we might need specific uh a specific whatchamacallit uh enderman spawner for ender pearls but we will see uh for example dark steel is going to be a problem because we don't have pulverized coal so i think maybe in the next episode we can come around and set that up so over here we are almost done with the pushing and the pulling of all the things uh, and soul sand again we don't have a steady enough income i don't think to support this we might be able to because we're not going to need uh, that much solarium i don't think we also need to automate silicon as well uh, over here you uh, have energetic alloy inside of you i don't know why uh, but you need to be pull and push and we need to smelt some quartz for this alloy because there's so many different alloys from uh, ender io since they added uh, the new types of conduits and all that. Uh, I don't know where they actually are, but there's a few more capacitors here, and I don't know if they are uh, any different from the normal capacitors, and there's this amount of conduits. Uh, there's now a conduit that has a max output of two billion, I think. Uh, so that is pretty cool. Uh, some of these I'm just gonna leave running for a little bit until I get uh, a control system up and running, which I do have kind of set up. But let me just finish off uh, all of these pull and push and i think we need to set up this guy to go ba, 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 probably here we can do that and then you should start exporting yep there we go uh, and here we can also just do pull and push and we can quantify that quantify that quantify that I think I have uh, the correct upgrades on the top. I, at some point, I didn't set up the uh, the storage downgrade and it exported like a thousand items. So that was a fun time. Uh, so pull and push and pull and push. Nice. So these should be configured and back here, we can actually take our Yetto wrench and just switch it over to item conduit view and we can just get rid of all of these. I don't think we are gonna need them which is nice which kind of means that I didn't need to use uh, the frame trim but I think it's just gonna look better in the back here and much nicer so down here we have this drawer controller uh, we could possibly put it in the middle uh, but I think it's fine we actually can do this uh, so we're just gonna disconnect it for a moment we're gonna grab you add you to the side here and then just a smart cable here uh, and then we can probably just do this and put this here. And that is a little bit nicer, I think. Okay, so we have two export buses. One is exporting all of the random materials and then another one here, apparently for silicon that I could have added over there. We, we're gonna have more items anyway. So over here, we have most of the ingots and here some extra ingots. For some of them, I'm not really exporting anything just yet because for example, we're running, how are we low on power? Um, hello? Why is you no give power? Why are these even not work? Okay, some of them don't have things inside of them, but they're running low on power. Um, I might not... Oh, this is drained. Are you running? It is running. Okay, aha, uh -huh. we need more power. So... Uh, no. Control, shift, alt, 90. So that should give us a bunch more power and that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, we probably are stuck on this, uh, the amount of power that this conduit can give off. Um, yeah, uh, we are gonna need upgrades very, very soon, okay. Uh, so that's fine. And we're gonna get to that in the next episode, but I think this is gonna be it uh, I am gonna do this in between episodes. I have lamps currently set up for uh, testing purposes so I can see uh, All of the different alloys in the slots I still need to I think make a couple of the alloys here which will influence which slot an item is in so I really want to have 
all of the alloys in here. I think I have just these three left. The Endergenic sil Silver, which is basically the Energetic Alloy, but silver made. So I need to set up those. And then the Vivid Alloy, which is basically just Energetic Silver and Ender Pearl. And I assume those are just the same, but I'm just gonna make them because I haven't made them before and we can try the Energized Capacitors. I think they're set up mostly because you're low on gold in the beginning and you have excess of silver and I think they might be interchangeable uh, in terms of what power they give off for the capacitors and all that. Yeah, I have energetic silver over here. Uh, and if we can take that and ender pearl, we can turn that uh, into here and here and we can grab that, and that. I do have the upgrades on here, so that's fine. We can do glowstone, silver, and redstone. So we're gonna do silver, glowstone, redstone. And then we can quantify, quantify. Nice. And I need to do an export on this and then vivid alloy can come in here. Uh, and we need to export this guy. And then pull, push, and then pull and push. Nice. Okay, so those will start working and doing their thing. All right, I've been rambling long enough. So thank you so much for watching. Oh, hello, it's dark. Let's do it like this. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. You can also subscribe to see new videos and you can support me on Patreon if you want. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.